What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to help you understand exactly what Bitcoin is. I know everyone makes videos about what Bitcoin is, but the best way to represent it is through illustrations like this or websites like you see on my screen right now. So before we dive into the video so you could better understand exactly what Bitcoin is, check out my channel, smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. But diving in, this is what most of us know about Bitcoin. It is a asset that just keeps going up in value and it makes a lot of people a lot of money and the media kind of hates it. We have probably viewed its chart, whether it be on TradingView or some other trading platform, and that's all we really know about it. We just know that, hey, it's this asset that I could buy into and it will make me money or at least hopefully it will make me money because it has made other people a lot of money in the past. But Bitcoin is so much more than just an asset or a commodity on a price chart like this. And a lot of people have a hard time grasping their heads around it when you hear things about blockchain and public ledger and mining and nodes and what is all this stuff? It's It could be very overwhelming to understand at first, but there are these two websites I'm going to show you, two people who have created these beautiful websites that really help you understand and visualize what Bitcoin is. So the the first one is this website, BitFeed or bits.monospace.live. You could check out the creator's Twitter or you could email him if you want. Uh, you could donate to him up here. This is his Bitcoin donation address. But this website, I don't think there's a better website that helps you visualize what's going on uh, underneath the hood of Bitcoin. This is exactly what's going on. All of these blocks, all of these unconfirmed transactions are flowing into Bitcoin all over the world. This website is real time. And what we see, all these little squares falling down, this is people actually buying, selling, and trading Bitcoin in real time. And then this block that you see right here, this was the most recent block. So I'm not going to go into exactly what mining and nodes are and all of that stuff because this video would be way too long. But if you have some basic understanding, you know what a block is. A block comes out roughly every 10 minutes. This was the last confirmed block, 715,009. And you can see it was mined at 6.07 p.m. Roughly 2,200 Bitcoin was moved and how many bytes it cost and how many transactions were confirmed on the blockchain. And what's even cooler is if you hover over, you could actually see all all of the transactions. So you could see this one was for $1.96 million or 41 Bitcoin, well, a little over 41 Bitcoin. And then if you hover over to one of these smaller blocks, like that little tiny one was $38 or 0 0.0008 Bitcoin. And everything you see falling down, this is what hasn't been confirmed on the blockchain yet. So if you were to buy Bitcoin right now, move it into a hard wallet or into a cold wallet or send it to another wallet, it would be one of these little squares falling down and you'd have to wait for a miner to, well, you'd have to wait for a node to verify it and for it to be confirmed onto the next block reward. So just like up here, we could view all of these transactions, the bigger blocks, and actually he has a little diagram right here, total value, the smaller the block, you could see it's less than 0 0.01 Bitcoin. And then a really big block is more than 100 Bitcoin. And then here's the age. So the red ones are the newest and then the green ones are the oldest. So if we go over to how about this block, that's $9 million right there. And then one of these smaller blocks is $136. So let's look at a rather easy block, like maybe this one. And the reason why I want to look at this one is it's one output and one input. So there's nothing really fancy going on here. We're going to hit copy and paste. So the second website I want to show you is mempool.space. And this will kind of hopefully bring everything together for you. So we got block 715,009. And then here's 715,009. If we were to click on this, just a different way to view it, but here's all of those transactions. So all of these little blocks are instead in this whole list going down. And you can see, I mean, the list goes on. There's a lot of pages to view all of the different transactions, over 1,700 transactions. But then if we go up here, we could search for transactions. So remember the one that I copied from before? We're going to paste it into here and then hit search. And you can see that here it is. Is. Here's that same transaction that we saw. Uh, where is it? Right here, 0 0.0005 Bitcoin, a very, very small amount, whatever it was, $130 or, or I think it was even smaller. It was like $48 or $38. But 
here it is and you can see its first session was five minutes ago well it's it was first seen by a node five minutes ago and then its eta is 20 minutes so it should be confirmed on maybe the next block or in two blocks and then it gives some other uh information like if it was a segregated witness or rbf and then if you go over it you can kind of see exactly what all of that stands for but if we jump back here and if we go to maybe a bigger one now so let's look at this one is six 6.5 million there's two inputs and two outputs so we'll highlight this one control copy we'll jump back over to here hit control paste hit enter now remember this one was already confirmed on uh the most recent block so instead this has a timestamp so you can see this is when it was confirmed here's the timestamp so it's confirmed it's legitimate it's on the blockchain forever and ever you guys could search the exact same one so if you type in this transaction you will see the exact same information as me because everything is public and open and you can see what happened here where there are a couple of outputs so there is an address with almost 73 bitcoin and then another address with a little over 66 bitcoin and the this group of bitcoin moved over to these two addresses for 95 and 44 into the other for a total of 139 Bitcoin. So whatever happened here, maybe someone was just moving wallets. Maybe this is a business, uh, buying something, selling something, whatever it might be. This may be a trade, whoever, whatever it is, I'm not sure because you're anonymous behind these numbers and letters, but it's still there for everyone to see, everyone to track to make sure it's legitimate. And that was again in this block. We could go back in time to previous blocks. So this one right here, was mine about an hour ago. And if we click on this, here's all of the transactions from that block. And if you, if this was your transaction, you could see that this address had a little over 22,000 Bitcoin, well, 22,049.71499. Uh, and they move this much. So what's left in this address is this right here. There's $5,000 left in this address. But if we jump back to uh, the home screen of mempool.space, you could also also see what the fees are if it's uh, pretty expensive to move Bitcoin right now or if it's uh, cheap right now it's cheap this little dotted line kind of gives you the average so it's pretty below what you could expect so this at this time would be a good time to move your Bitcoin if you're trying to be conscious about any kind of minor fees but any transaction that has ever happened over the course of the 13 years can be found here and you can see as soon as this block gets confirmed it will be all all these new transactions that will come in that you could see right down here all of these transactions below here will end up moving on well not all but most of them will move on to the next block and then it'll just keep on going then more transactions will fall down all of these different sizes until it gets confirmed as well and i really think these two websites a poke poke around on the two websites because this helped me completely visualize exactly what's going on. I don't think there's any better visual representation and I give a huge shout out to the person who created this and then to the people who created mempool.space. I think there's, if you click over here, you could see, uh, you see how it's open source project and all of their different sponsors and all of the different integrations, project members, project contributors. So you can check out all of their channels and do whatever you want with that. But I hope this video helped you understand exactly what Bitcoin is or just give you a better visualization of what's going on behind the hood instead of it just being some price on a chart because it's so much more than that. And it's so cool actually learning exactly what's going on. So again, and both these websites will be in the links below so you can check it out for yourself. But again, guys, if you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe, and as always, I will see you in the next one.